Oh, hello everyone. I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on post-production here on YouTube. Today we're talking about a super crazy trick. Check this out. I have this scene in Blender and it looks like this chair is spinning around, but actually my camera is spinning around. If we take a look at what's going on here, we have the chair staying where it is and our camera kind of moving around. Well, we can actually bring this entire scene into Fusion. Here's how we do it. Make sure you don't have anything selected inside of Blender. Go up here to File, and let's say Export, FBX. And we'll just call this green chair scene.fbx and hit Export FBX. Now let's make a new Fusion composition here in Resolve. And here in the Fusion page, I'll go up to Fusion, Import, FBX scene and select that FBX scene that I exported and hit open. That's going to come up with this FBX importer tab. And sure, let's go ahead and open everything. I'll hit OK. And that will make a butt ton of nodes. If I hit two on the keyboard with our merge 3D2 and zoom out a lot because it comes in gigantic, we can see we have our mesh with the textures and everything on it, as well as our camera animation. So to take a look at this, let's do a little bit of cleanup. This point cloud and the merge 3D right here, probably don't need those, so I'm just gonna hit delete. And I'll take this first merge 3D where we have the camera, and let's connect this to our renderer 3D. And I'll hit two on the keyboard to bring that up, and you'll see we don't see anything. This is because sometimes there's a little error that has to do with the far and near clip plane of the camera. So if we select camera and unlock our inspector here, we have these near and far clip planes at 10 and 100,000. Really what this is, is how close and how far away can the camera see things. And right now it's kind of set to nothing useful. So if we take this near and hit zero like that, now we can see our chair. And we can play through this. And now we have our exact same movement, same camera and everything right here inside of Fusion. Pretty awesome. From here, we can do something like add lights. And I can pipe that into my Merge 3D. And as long as I have my Renderer 3D set to Lighting and Shadows, we can add our lighting. So now we have our chair spinning around. And what's really cool is that we can even take something like a render from Blender and merge this over it. And say, switch out our color texture for black and put in, I don't know, say like a pink light. And we can add dynamic lighting to our Blender render. It's always fun to say Blender render. So we just have our black mesh right here and we're merging it over our render from Blender to give a little bit of fancy lighting here. Pretty cool. Of course, it's not the highest quality lighting. There's some problems with that. It doesn't have motion blur but it is really cool that you can do something like that. But if you want something like just this basic 3D render, you can export that Blender scene into Fusion and get some pretty good results.